this water wheel uh, of wood had water flowing over it. In a matter of 60 years, the wood became petrified wood. It became rock. 60 years, petrified wood. Not millions of years. He will. This bottle encased in rock with a ceramic jar on the left hand side was 130 years in the bottom of the ocean in a ship that had crashed and wrecked off the coast of Australia. And yet, because of natural elements there, rock had actually formed around the ceramic jar and the bottle in only 130 years, not millions of years. <sighs> Neat bottle. A miner dropped his hat by accident into a water hole inside of a mine. He couldn't fish it out. Somebody fished it out 50 years later. <clears throat> it had been turned into a fossilized hat, as hard as a helmet that a motorcyclist would wear. 50 years, fossilized hat. Notice even his source has fossil in quotes. Oh, and um, nice hat. These pliers were found on the edge of, of a beach, thoroughly encrusted with built up of sand and rock, all fossilized around these pliers. Even a piece of shell is still seen here. Fossilized pliers in a very short period of time, not millions of years. Notice even his source has fossil in quotes. Oh, and nice pliers. This is, this is just getting repetitive. In 1886, in New Zealand, there was a volcano that erupted and did a, a lot of destruction to the surrounding communities. As time went by, people went back into these areas to dig and see what they could find, things of any kind of worth. They found this bowler cap, which basically is, is made out of cloth, but this is now turned into rock. Fossilized hat in just a few years, not millions of years. Maybe this guy left it there? Oh, come on, we already did the nice hat joke. The repetition of this red herring is boring us. We've edited out the petrified ham. That was just embarrassing for him. These beautiful gems are called opals. And according to evolutionary theory, it takes millions of years to make opals. Now, there's opal mines in a place in Australia, and a opal dealer went and just took some of the powder from these mining areas, placed it in different jars with different acids and chemicals. He is making opals in a matter of months. These opals are so fine, so beautiful, that even the opal dealers cannot tell the difference between them and ones that are dug out of the mine. Even more so, under an electron microscope, you cannot tell the difference between the mined opals and the ones that he's created in jars in a matter of a few months. It takes millions of years to make opals? Afraid not. Natural processes are able to do it in a matter of months. Synthetic opals may be distinguished from natural opals by the regularity of the crystal pattern, the lack of fluorescence under UV light, the lack of density and porosity, the fact that the imitations contain substances not found in opal, like plastic stabilizers, and his natural processes involve a chemist and a fairly complicated synthetic pathway. We can also make diamonds quicker than nature. We kick nature's butt. What this has to do with how long it takes natural formation to occur is beyond us, though. I took this picture near Monterey, Mexico, and what this billboard says in English is publicity for the Garcia Caverns in Monterey, Mexico. Of course they are <laughs> brainwashing us. If you can be brainwashed with that sound and a pencil, you have bigger problems than billboards. Of course, creationists would know about using billboards to brainwash people. Okay, six minutes are edited from the end of this video. You're welcome. No new information was discussed. There were only more tedious examples of how man can duplicate natural formation quickly. But as mentioned, man's ingenuity does not change the rate of natural formation.
And through all my readings, all my studies, all my practicing of what the Bible teaches, I found it to be true, to be exactly what it says it is, the Word of God, inspired by Him. directed by Him, and I can rely upon it. Put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Read the Bible. Put it into practice. You'll find it to be true. It's God's Word. We'll see you soon. Next time we're talking about the Ape Men. Very interesting conference. Thanks for visiting us. See you later.